Okay, hello, I'm uh, Steve Brownwell from uh, the, the London Centre for Nanotechnology at University College London. And I'm going to tell you a bit about uh, magnetricity, which is the magnetic equivalent of electricity and a phenomenon that uh, we discovered recently. So in electricity, electric charge flows like a, like a fluid, like a water would flow, say, in a hosepipe. So little electrons or ions in solution or... or a little electric charges like that uh, have a flow and have a current. Now it's traditionally been thought that there isn't a magnetic equivalent of that. Even though magnetic charge is a familiar concept, for example, the poles of this bar magnet have an effective magnetic charge at either end, but it's been traditionally thought that magnetic charge doesn't flow in tiny little packets uh, like electric charge does. However, I've been studying some materials called spin ice materials for about 10 years. Here are some crystals of spin ice in a bottle. And uh, what we've discovered recently is that these um, real materials contain little atom-sized packets of magnetic charge that do form currents just like electricity, and hence we've named uh, this phenomenon magnetricity in, an in analogy to electricity. Now this is a very surprising thing because normally if you uh, try and uh, create a little packet of magnetic charge, say by chopping this bar magnet in half, you don't succeed. You simply create two more bar magnets uh, with, with, a, put with north poles and south poles at either end. But what happens in the spin ice materials is that there are some very complicated what we call many body interactions between all the atoms in the material. And these have the result of creating little atom-sized packets of magnetic charge that can then flow like electricity. And uh, th it's a bit like having individual north and south poles about the size of an atom that can sort of flow around within the material. And when you put a magnetic field on, they all set off and migrate to one end of the sample. So I guess the uh, million dollar question is, is mag magnetricity useful for anything? Uh, the answer is at present it's not useful for anything, it, but it is a, an interesting curiosity. Perhaps in the future it could be useful though, if one thinks uh, of how useful electricity is and how long it took to find any uses of electricity, then it's quite plausible that in many years time we'll find uses of magnetricity. Now, uh, one of the possible areas where one might be able to find use is in the information technology industry, where we already uh, use magnetic effects to store and manipulate information.